Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bram and today I'll be talking about the Dark Code plugin for Visual Studio Code. And this plugin is very exciting for all of you Flutter users who don't really like to use IntelliJ, but like to use Visual Studio Code instead. But of course, Visual Studio Code has some limitations. For example, debugging isn't really a feature that you have. Um, and that is what this plugin aims to fix. So um, there's a really good job at it. So let's first of all, take a look on how to install the plugin. Simply open up Visual Studio Code, go to your extension manager and search for Dart Code. Now this plugin should be by a man called Danny Tepenny. Over here, just click on it, press install, and that should do the trick. After that, also make sure that you close off um, Visual Studio Code and reopen it, otherwise you might see some unexpected behavior. Cool. So um, let's first of all take a look on how to actually launch a project straight from Visual Studio Code. Um, this project is just a project, the standard Flutter create project without the comments. Um, so if you want to follow along, feel free to create your own. So um, to actually start your product, project on your emulator, simply go to this debug um, menu, press on this cockwheel, and press on Flutter mobile app. Now this is only a thing that you have to do once um, after you've done that. So after you've done this, you will get a option called Flutter mobile app in this drop-down menu. And you can now just press this play button and it will launch your application. Awesome, so our application is running now and we got this new menu at the top of Visual Studio Code with some options. We got a pause button, some grayed out buttons for debugging, restart button, with, which will hot refresh your application and a stop button. So let's change some stuff in our code. So let's first test out this hot reload button. So let's make this orange, press hot reload. And that should hot reload our application. Awesome, as easy as that. Cool. So um, let's now take a look at the debugging part of our application, of our um, plugin, I'm sorry. So let's take a look at a function. So if you're not familiar with the standard Flutter project, um, it creates a project with a button. And every time I press that button, um, the counter will be up by one. Cool. So um, let's debug this function, you know, nothing too much about it, but let's just do it for the sake of um, this video. So let's place it the big point over here and let's press hot reloads. Awesome. And now every time I press this button, I should um, hit this breakpoint and my application should pause. Awesome, so that works. Um, over here, I can see all of the variables um, with the counter variable, etc. cetera. Um, and over here, I can just step over, step into and step out to just like in any other debugger. Of course, if I just want to continue, just press on continue. Now, another cool feature about this plugin is that every time that you, um, that you add a, a plugin in your perspective.jml file, it will be um, added to your project automatically. So um, further get packages will be run automatically for you. So you won't have to do that. Um, another cool feature about this plugin is that at the bottom over here, you see that I am running on Android SDK built for blah, 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 blah. So basically this is saying that I'm running on an emulator, but let's say that I was running multiple emulators on my device or I was running um, or I had connected a physical device and an emulator. I could switch between, between those um, just by changing this, by clicking on it and by um, changing the emulator or changing the device. Cool, so I think I've basically covered everything about the plugin. Um, it's really amazing. Um, I know that the guy who made this worked really hard on this, um, so show some love to him, show some appreciation, um, because I know a lot of you guys really don't like IntelliJ and really do prefer Visual Studio Code, just like I do. So um, that was the video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.